we learned about division algorithm for polynomials in the previous video. Now, with the help of some examples, we will see what common mistakes can be made while solving these type of questions. Fill in the blank by selecting the correct option from the given alternatives. To solve this question, pause the video and then match your answer. By looking at both the polynomials, you can say that the first polynomial, that is, dividend, is not in the standard form. We learned in the previous video that polynomials must be in standard form to start the division process. Let us write this polynomial in standard form and complete the division process. By performing this, we get the quotient x squared minus 2x plus 4. Therefore, option 4 is the correct answer to fill in the blank. If you have chosen the first option, it is a good try. But this is the wrong answer because before starting the division process, you did not write the dividend in the standard form because of which it is almost impossible to solve this division question. If you have chosen the second option, it is a good try. But this is also an incorrect answer because in place of the quotient, you have chosen the remainder. If you have chosen the third option, it is a good try. But this is also an incorrect answer. Processing the division process with the second term of the quotient, the remainder is 12x minus 8 and its degree is equal to the degree of the divisor. Recall that when the remainder is 0 or the degree of the remainder becomes smaller than the degree of the divisor, then the division process ends. But in this option, you have not completed the division process. So hopefully, you have understood why the fourth option is correct in this example and other options are wrong. Teachers can also test students' understanding in the class with the help of such examples.